guys welcome to the channel welcome 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 back to the channel today i will be talking about how much do i spend in public transportation here in toronto canada yeah i don't like to talk about money it makes it gives me anxiety but let's go um okay so with the public transportation here in toronto um the fee is three dollars and sixty cents um so yeah, and as I told you guys before, I had to sacrifice, so I live really far from my school. I live really far. Um, but let me just break this down to you guys, okay? So it's 360 for most, for most of the transportation, the blue buses, and these are the buses that go on highways. They kind of like non-stop. They probably have two stops the most. Uh, this is excluding those because they probably are they probably do cost more um but it but for most part all of most of the transportations are three dollars and sixty cents here in canada otherwise you probably um have disabilities or you have some type of discount um so 360 for sure that's how much you're going to pay um so 360 now the good thing is that you have once you tap your presto card and this is the card that you would um use to pay your fees here if um with the transportation once you tap that card or if you pay with josh no no it doesn't really matter you would have um two hours of transportation that that's free transportation two hours once that two hours up then you would pay you would start paying the um three dollars and sixty cents so that's the good thing right so going to school, when I go to school, I have to catch two buses and two trains. So when I catch the first bus, then I will go on the train. Like I said before, um, I already tapped, so that's not two, between two hours. So I don't have to pay to go on the, on the train. And once I'm on the train, I do two trains and then I go on the bus. Now, a lot of people don't know this. And I be seeing people, I'm like, please do not tap your card. You do not have to tap um, your card or pay for transportation once you're transferring to the train to the bus. Okay, you don't have to do that. <laughs> I used to be tapping, tapping, tapping. Like the, the person told me, say, you do not have to tap. I'm like, okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the beauty of it. You do not have to tap um, once you're transferring to the train to the bus. So for me, going to school, that would be three dollars and sixty cents. Now heading to the school to whom that would be another uh, three sixty because obviously I'm in class and that two hours has been gone at this point. And that will be the same thing as well as why it will all, all obviously be 360. So 360 um, plus 360, that's what, 7, 720. So 720 a day. I go to school mostly probably three days of the week. Um, three days of the week. But sometimes, obviously, I do um, run errands and everything. So I'll, I'll, I calculated it by four days. So four, day, four days give me um, $28.80 for a week um, with the public transportation here in Toronto, Canada, which is not, it's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad, you know, it's, it's not bad. Um, and for the month, that will be um, $100, um, $115.20. So yeah, they also do have um, a monthly you can do like the, just a one-time fee of 150 which I didn't thought made sense because I do not spend, I didn't think that I needed it. And obviously I don't because my fee is 115 so I don't need it. But if you feel like you're spending more than that, then of course do the one-time fee. They also do have discounts for students, which I don't know why I'm not taking advantage of my discounts. I really have to look into that um, just to see. So you just have to present to them. I guess you just have to um, have your student ID and everything, and you could get um, you could be eligible for uh, a student discount. So yeah, that's how, and one thing I would say is that 
the blue buses are kind of uh, are, would usually be more expensive um, with those buses you would tap you would tap um, when you go on the bus and then you have to tap <laughs> and then you have to tap um, off. I'm laughing because I didn't know that and I just used to walk off the bus and they said like girl they could charge you more and they charmed it. Um, so I just do not bother with those buses anymore. And plus they really they take really really long. So I ain't got no time for that. Um, so yeah that's basically what I spent in a day, in a week, and in a month here in Toronto, Canada um, with the public transportation. Like I said before, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, people will say what they have to say, but at the end of the day, you gotta do what you gotta do until you can get um, a vehicle okay? or until you could. See, because you don't wanna make rash decisions. I always say that you don't wanna make decisions that will hurt you in the long run. So just do what you gotta do. It's okay. Chill, 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 chill. A lot of people was like, why did you live so far? But hey, listen to me. Airbnb prices. I would, at this point, I do not feel like, what if you have to stay in Airbnb for like a month because you can't find um, an apartment? You got to get what you can get because those Airbnb prices are ridiculous. You would spend your, um, your month rent in a week in Airbnb. So don't be, don't be stupid, don't be fool, you know what I mean? And that's the same thing when it comes to a car. Don't spend all your money if you don't have it right now. You gotta chill it out until you can kind of make some sense um, with everything. So yeah, guys, that's all I have for this video. Hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.